line of succession, so it's worth reminding ourselves where the money comes from. The royal family is funded by three main revenue streams. The Sovereign Grant, the largest, which was worth £86 million last year, and the Duchy of Lancaster, worth £22 million, both of which will fund the King. And the Duchy of Cornwall, worth £24 million, which will now fund William as heir and Prince of Wales. Now, the Sovereign Grant is drawn from revenue generated by the Crown Estate, a £15 billion portfolio of property and land, three quarters of which goes to the Exchequer and the rest to pay for the Crown. And while it was worth £86 million last year, the Queen spent £102 million. Let's have a look at how that breaks down. £64 million was spent on maintaining the Royal Palaces. Almost £50 million of that went on the refurbishment of Buckingham Palace. £27.5 million went on paying almost 500 members of staff, £4.5 million on travel and more than £3 million on gas and electricity. The King also gets revenue from the £600 million Duchy of Lancaster estate. That was worth £22 million last year, which the Queen used to fund core members of the family, including Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward. Now, the King will only pay income tax on this if, like his mother, he volunteers to. As Prince of Wales, William will enjoy the surplus from the £1 billion Duchy of Cornwall estate that includes the Oval Cricket Ground and was worth £24 million last year. It is exempt from corporation tax and capital gains tax and income tax will again be voluntary. Now as the presumed main beneficiary of his mother's will, the King will also inherit immense private wealth, including Sandringham and Balmoral, the Queen owned privately as part of an estate worth an estimated £350 million. But the detail will remain private, as uniquely royal wills do not have to go to probate. It's the process by which they become public. And the King will not pay inheritance tax. Gifts from monarch to monarch are exempt. And there's a small matter of more than a dozen palaces and residences around the country. Six of them in London, plus Windsor Castle, are publicly maintained. But he also has homes in Gloucestershire, Wales and Birkhall up in Scotland, plus the inherited Balmoral and Sandringham in Norfolk. Royal funding is a deal between the palace and parliament, and by association, the public. But King Charles, ascending in a cost-of-living crisis, may face greater scrutiny than his mother of what is appropriate for a modern monarch and what counts as excess. With the Queen's death, fortunes as well as titles passed down the line of succession, so it's worth reminding ourselves where the money